Despite the fact that our favorite show is officially coming to an end, there are still some behind-the-scenes mysteries that the cast hasn't revealed yet. No doubt, the hardest part for every member of the show's team must be to remember all the strict guidelines Netflix has set for them. So in this video, we're going to talk about some of the rules that the Riverdale cast is required to follow while being on set. First off, we have Lily Reinhardt complaining about the kissing rule made for the Riverdale cast. Throughout their journey of six seasons, our Riverdale gang has surely experienced a lot, from chasing killers to experiencing death and rebirth, putting on a few musical performances, developing some superpowers, and even finding themselves attempting to survive a catastrophic meteor attack, they did it all. But is there anything that the characters haven't done? Yep, that would probably be French kissing. Even when the actors are filming more steamy scenes, the cast's lip locks must maintain a certain amount of family friendliness, according to Lily Reinhardt, who plays Betty Cooper in the popular CW series. Reinhardt went on the Happy Sad Confused podcast with Josh Horowitz to discuss the the conclusion of Riverdale and her upcoming Netflix release look both ways, but the actress ended up telling us a lot more about her experience on set. She disclosed a startling kissing rule that the CW has implemented while talking about how eager she is to pursue more adult parts after Riverdale's final season is over. According to Reinhardt, it's been an interesting constraint to deal with for almost a decade that, in the series, they're not allowed to kiss with their tongues at all. The actress went on to elaborate that on the CW show, there's only a limit to how maturely you can act and that things are are somewhat different in that regard. Next up, the cast wants to play more mature and diverse characters. Reinhardt didn't fail to mention during her podcast with Josh Horowitz that she's looking forward to playing more challenging, complex, and possibly wilder characters in the future, some who hopefully have complete freedom to kiss. Even though Riverdale now has one last season to go, several of the actors are already considering what comes after the CW show. After Riverdale, Lily Reinhardt, whose new film Look Both Ways recently debuted on Netflix, is prepared to go past the position of a teenage girl and explore more appropriate roles. In the meanwhile, if the actress's Netflix film is any indicator, she will succeed in roles that are more grown up after Riverdale. Even if it means she can finally play an adult, it's good to see her in other roles, and we're eager to see that continue after she finishes playing Betty Cooper. It's not unusual for an actor to portray a teenager, but it seems like it can get pretty dull after a while. But now, the cast will soon be free to look for new roles, since Riverdale will finish after Season 7 officially. We obviously dread the day when we must say our final goodbyes to Betty, Archie, Andrews, Jughead Jones, Veronica Lodge, Cheryl Blossom, and the other residents of Riverdale, but we can't wait to see what roles they'll all play in the future. And now, for the pre-kissing protocol at the set of Riverdale. Watching KJ Appa and Camilla Mendez maintain their distance during a kissing session was really something none of us would expect, but ever since the pandemic, both of them have been extra cautious during their intimate scenes. The two actors provided a little behind-the-scenes information with us about what it's like to shoot a passionate makeout scene during a pandemic, and let's just say that there's a lot of mouthwash chatter about killing the vibe. They revealed that they're required to gargle with what appears to be an antibiotic mouthwash before locking lips because they can't exactly stand six feet apart while filming romance scenes between Archie and Veronica. Initially, many of us believed it was a miraculous COVID-19 killing potion, but ever since a close-up clip was released, you could see the pair joking around, trying not to laugh at each other while still gargling. What's crazier is that they have to keep the mouthwash in for two full minutes, and sometimes they even make a crew member time them before they can spit it out and continue recording. If we're being completely honest, we couldn't help but smile knowing that these two undoubtedly had endless kissing scenes together, which can only indicate that there was a lot more Varchi content available to make us happy. There are more cast members who've been spotted gulping down mouthwash, so it appears that the trend is spreading. But ever since COVID, the cast members haven't been allowed to share trailers together. Sadly, since the pandemic, characters who must be near one another are only able to do so for a short amount of time. All of the actors for the show had to shoot their scenes as rapidly as they could while on set before keeping a good distance with masks on. But right when we thought that COVID restrictions were dying out, they added more. The sharing of trailers by cast members is now restricted. This obviates the possibility that they may continue to run lines in tandem in trailers. Since everyone in the group is so close, it's a big adjustment to them to stay in their individual trailers and keep the mid-shooting jokes and laughter inside of them. As they all go on, it only proves that distance really does make the heart grow fonder but thankfully, most of them found ways to keep themselves entertained one way or another. It's not just them, though. The crew of the program are also supposed to keep their distance during filming. This also applies to the camera crew and the director. However, new technology has allowed the cameramen to position their equipment at least two meters away from the actors. This means that the director and camera operators are now able to work from a larger distance thanks to their new shot setups, camera angles, and specialized lenses. Then, does that mean no tattoos or makeup either? Thankfully, tattoos can now be readily hidden by 
cosmetics, and most of the time, clothing covers the tattoos. Without a doubt, KJ Apa is the cast member that struggles the most to keep up with this rule, especially since we all know how much he loves his tattoos. KJ has tattoos all over his body, including his arms and shoulders. Luckily, most of the time, they're covered. But who is Archie Andrews without all his shirtless scenes during the show? So, for this reason only, KJ faced a lot of trouble trying to use makeup to hide all of his tattoos. The actor went and even admitted in an interview that it once took three hours for him to conceal his tattoos and put on his bare scar for a naked scene. Not just this, makeup isn't permitted on site for the cast either. This might be a relatively common guideline for large projects because the crew doesn't have time to take off the old makeup and apply a new layer. Even though Lily Reinhardt has stated that she doesn't care all that much, the female cast members find it difficult to stick to this rule. It only makes sense that they feel better wearing makeup because it's a huge part of getting ready for an outing. Luckily for them, the shooting typically begins at 5 a.m., and at that time, anybody's too exhausted to even consider applying makeup. We may assume that the cast members could do their own makeup if they want, but for the makeup to be flawless, they leave everything to the professionals. Lastly, the actors are supposed to strictly follow the script they've been given. With his statement that the cast has no creative involvement or control over their characters, actor Cole Sprouse made it very plain that he's eager for Riverdale to end. The 29-year-old actor, who portrays Jughead Jones in the drama, appears to be up for a new challenge. In a recent interview, he claimed that the majority of the group is prepared to wrap it up with a bow and go on with their lives. Despite the interviewer's claim that he is appreciative of the show, it does seem like he was making some suspicious remarks regarding how the show had been handled in some parts. It also felt like he was frustrated over not having any creative involvement or control over the character he played. He further added that it was so often that they were given their scripts upon arrival on set on the day of the shoot. A directorial role was offered to him, but he politely declined since he knew that any vision he had would be of no use. What's more is that it wasn't just Cole Sprouse who felt this way. In another interview, KJ Appa explained that he feels as if they're on a giant machine of a show, with a great worldwide reach and a huge fan base, but it's a program where their voices aren't heard as much as other creative people who are engaged. That's a wrap for this video. How do you feel after finding out these extremely strict rules that the cast of Riverdale is required to follow on set? Do you think most of them are justifiable? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.